Welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. And today I'm going to draw this cute little kawaii shoe pencil. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> well, I'm going to do this little video just for fun because I am this week. Uh, what I really want to tell you is this week I am going to be in Keswick, which is in the Lake District in England. So on the the 9th, the 10th and the 11th of April 2013, I'm going to be in Keswick and I'm going to be at the Pencil Factory, which is going to be great fun. And you can come along and meet me and we'll do drawing and stuff like that. And you can find out all about pencils. What I'm doing is I'm doing a little square like that and a triangle hat on top, some little wiggly bits there and a curly bit on the bottom. And in fact, what I'm going to do is kind of curl these there and I'm going to curl that there as well. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it the other direction <laughs> just to confuse everything. No, that's the curl them that way, this way, and curl them that way, that way. And then I'm going to go up, 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 and up, 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 and round, round, round. And so I thought because I'm going to the pencil factory, I will draw a pencil, but I'm going to draw a kind of a cute pencil, a kawaii kind of pencil. And I'm suddenly getting very interested in kawaii, but I want to do my own kind of style. So I'm going to call it shuai. I'm going to design a whole world, the whole island world of shuai. Because <laughs> I think that you should try and develop your own kind of style. And I realized that I've been doing kawaii for years and years and years, but I never knew it. <laughs> I never knew it had a name. So what is kawaii? Kawaii is the Japanese word for cute. And so this is what I'm going to do, but I'm kind of doing a slightly different kind of way. And my kawaii's have little kind of faces on them. And I'm trying to make this character look quite bright and happy. So I'm doing the, the kind of egg-shaped eyes. And then the eyeballs are just a kind of a letter C in the middle. And then we want a cute little nose. And a cute little mouth going, way. Now Japanese kawaii is quite different. And it does the eyes very differently. But this is how I want to do it, and I have a very good reason. I'm kind of developing this style. And I want to have characters to be able to interact, and if you just have black dots, it's very hard to do that. So what do we need now? We need some feet. I just zoomed out a little bit, moved it up to give me some room for feet, and these little kind of socks. Hands. I think the whole thing about kawaii and cute and shuai it's kind of proportions of things. It's really hard keeping things in cute proportions. Two, three, four, one, two, four. We're going to have a little sign here. And then Kawaii stuff really should have kind of rounded corners all the way. And we'll just put a bit of cross there. I should have had that a bit higher, but never mind, never mind. When you are sure the ink is dry, <laughs> then erase those pencil lines. And this is where I'm going to use my Derwent watercolour pencils. Some people, we call them crayons in this. Uh, we call them watercolour crayons, but uh, some people call them colouring pencils, colour pencils. Uh, some people call them aquarelles. And I'm going to shade in the face very lightly with the LA. And I'm going to watercolour these in, just wash them in later. And I'm going to do, this is the kind of the wooden part of the pencil here. And what colour shall I do? What colour shall I do? I'm going to do red. And I'll leave a little bit of white there for reflection. Highlight. Oh. And put a little bit of blue down here. This is the, um, the little metal ferrule bit that holds on the eraser at the bottom. I'm going to shade that in with a bit of grey. Like 
that. Got little white feet, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Hmm. I think we're going to want red shoes as well. Now while I'm here, I'm going to shade in a little darker with a darker red on the one side. And I'm going to do it now so that I can wash it all in because I find that once you've kind of washed in watercolour, it changes the, the kind of grittiness of the paper and it doesn't kind of colour in so well somehow. And I'm just quite roughly shading this bit in very roughly putting in some grass now we have something new for you <laughs> i had a, a message on twitter yesterday from americo neves who asked do i ever use these watercolor things I need to get to get it going and i said no i never use these at all but i did get some and they've been sitting there waiting for me to try and so now i'm trying them out and i'm now washing in the watercolor crayon and uh, so it's quite interesting actually now so I can go all around here washing in the colour and as I go I'm picking up colour and sort of spreading it around a bit I'm going to very quickly wash this in here and I'm wondering whether do I have enough colour still that I could just flick some other no not really I'm going to do a, a, a special video about unboxing these and trying these out uh, next week, so uh, make sure you're tuned for that. Well, obviously I'm speeding up these bits because it would take forever otherwise. Now I'm going to put a little bit of brown on that side. I'm just going to wash it in. And maybe a bit more on the other side as well. Because this is the wood part of the pencil, isn't it? I'm going to colour that nose in pink. And maybe put some little pink cheeks there as well. And very, very gently I'm going to put a bit of blue around the eyes. And I'm going to make this wood effect. And I think we can put some kind of wood grain effect on the pencil as well, like that. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in there. And there, and maybe a bit darker, a bit under there. And then I think all I really need to do is to put a bit of shadow underneath him. And then I think we need just a little bit more going on with the grass really just a little bit more maybe that should be a darker green there and then all I think I need to do is put a few little little kind of wavy lines there we are colored pencil colored watercolor aquarelle pencils for the pencil museum and don't forget if you're anywhere near the Lake District next week I shall be there on the 8th and the 9th and the 10th and this is the year 2013 so don't turn up any other year <laughs> I might be there another year you never know you better check my website to see. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and see how to draw my cute little uh, kawaii chick, uh, which is really easy to do, or try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for more drawing lessons and advice. And in the meantime, <laughs> keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye. Oh, and I might see you in Keswick. <laughs> <laughs>